Zip it! God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> Greeting my fearless frontliners, my fellow guardians of the galleries. I'm William Young, correctional officer turned correctional apologist, and this is my channel. Now, one of the issues, one of the reoccurring themes that presents itself during my travels, during my interactions with correctional staff, is that the people at home, their family, their friends, <laughs> neighbors they barely tolerate, don't know what it's like, don't understand the job, the environment. So I figured in this video I'd offer five things. Five ways that people in your life can better understand, better support you. So go get them. Sit them down. Oh, wait. You ready? Okay, let's do this. Number one. Zip it. God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. And that reason is that listening is important. It's so hard to talk about the things that we see. Now, for one, we're told not to. We're told to leave the traumas and the and the horrors at work, which is total bullshit and, and impossible and ridiculously stupid, but I digress. The other thing is that it's so hard to articulate. To explain what we just lived through. What we just had to do. So we might not be able to talk about it. And the reason that I say zip it is because your, your feedback, your input may be off-putting, irritating, isolating. So if your CO opens up, button up. Don't offer advice. Don't ask questions unless you feel that it's an appropriate time. Just listen and just be there. Number two, you have absolutely no clue what your CO goes through. Unless, of course, you were a CO too. But if you weren't, then please realize, uh, understand, that our bad days are, are like bad fucking days. When shit hits the fan at the office, it's like a literal shit hitting the fan. Well, it might not be an actual fan, but you get the gist. CO see some wild stuff. The stress, the threats, the violence, <laughs> it's a lot. So understand that. Know that your CEO is under intense pressure all the time, even if they seem fine. They're not, but you can help them by allowing them time, uh, space to decompress, to unwind. Just watch for changes in their behavior, the, the, their personality. And if they're off, if they're pissed, there's probably a pretty good reason. Number three, learn everything you can about the profession, the job, click up with other spouses, read my book, watch YouTube and listen to podcasts, and ask questions. No, I told you earlier not to ask questions, but at the right time, in the right setting, they're okay. I will caution you, warn you that there are some less than credible sources out there. So take the information in, filter it, apply what's applicable, and toss what's not. Number four, COs are their own worst enemy. We're stubborn. We won't ask for help, <laughs> even when we're drowning. And that's mainly because we're trained to. Inducted, indoctrinated into the institutional practices of this profession. We change, without a doubt, we change. We're just too blind to see it. And it's subtle, the change. The shift in our behavior and our attitude happens over a long period of time. It's like when you go to the closet to try to try on that outfit that you haven't worn a couple of years and you found out that it shrank. It's smaller. It's kind of like that. Inside we're rock stars, outside we're not. We spend so much time inside that, yeah, this is a thing. If you want to dive a little more into this one to do the change and how the profession affects your personal life, pick up my book, The Nothing That Never Happened. I'll throw a link somewhere. Number five, who oh, put up with your CO's bullshit? If they're getting angry or pissy, let them know. If you've noticed a change in them, let them know. In CO's, you have to be open and receptive to the feedback. You will change and you have to listen to those around you. They say you're different, you're probably different. Don't be a dick. Don't bite the hand that feeds you or is reaching out to help you. My advice, the thing is that if you feel you need to talk to someone, then you probably should go talk to someone. What's the worst that could happen? You decide it was a waste of time? We have to get ahead of these things before they spiral out of control. So SOs, spouses, friends, family, listen up. Make sure that you know the resources available to you and your CO. Your support, culturally competent therapists, pastors, wellness people, whoever. Make sure you know where to go if you need to go. And if you don't, email me and I'll help find someone for you. Folks, this job is a doozy. It'll get you eventually, so we have to intentionally prepare to protect ourselves. To repair ourselves when we start to crack. Now, this video just scratches the surface on the ways that you can support your CO. Bottom line is just be there for each other. Thick and thin. Together, we'll get through whatever. Together, we will win. If you like this video, if you found value on this video, straight punch that little like icon. Check out my book, The Nothing That Never Happened, available on Amazon. And if you're looking for more premium correctional content, check out this video right here. Or this video right here. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon.